welcome back to the Michael Cake Addiction Kitchen. I'm Elise and on today's episode, we're gonna be making these gorgeous back to school push pops. I've had a ton of requests for something back to school from all of my followers in the United States. So guys, this video is for you. The things that you'll need today, I've got a cupcake tray and just lined with cupcake wrappers. I've got a little bit of sticky tape. I've got a couple of bowls, some of our perfectly pipeable buttercream frosting in chocolate, and I've got that in a disposable piping bag, just with a round open tip piping nozzle. To make your pops pop, I've created you guys some printable templates, which I will link to down below. I've also got a couple of circle cutters and a serrated edge knife. I've got two spoons and I've got my plastic push pop containers. I've got an assortment of food color pastes and I've also got a vanilla cake mix. So I'm using the recipe out of the Cupcake Addiction recipe book, but you can use any vanilla cake mix you like. Let's get started. Today we're gonna be making six push pops out of a total of 12 cupcakes. So you're gonna have some leftovers if you wanna make cake pops. The first thing that you wanna do here is you wanna spoon about two tablespoons of that mixture into two of your bowls and about four tablespoons into the rest of your bowl. So I've got seven bowls in total. The ones that you've only spooned two tablespoons into are gonna be for your one pencil push pop and the other ones are gonna be for your assorted colored crayons. For your pencil push pop, you wanna put a little bit of pink food coloring into one one of your bowls that only has two tablespoons of mix and a little bit of yellow into the other one. Stir those colors all the way through and then you can start spooning them into your cupcake cases. You should have one of those pink ones and one yellow and the rest of them, you can choose what colors you want for your crayons, but the colors that I've gone with and the colors you'll have templates for, you've got purple, blue, green, red, and orange, and you've also got a template for yellow. Bake them until they spring back when touched lightly in the center, that's how you know they're done, and wait for them to completely cool before we do any decorating. Unwrap your first color of cupcake and then you wanna take your serrated edge knife and you're just going to trim off the very top of the dome so you've got a bit of a flat surface to work on. Do that with both of your cupcakes and then you wanna flip your cupcakes upside down and taking your circle cutter, the larger of your circle cutters, I'm gonna twist as I gently push and you'll see I'm also supporting the sides of my cupcake. It's gonna be quite soft because it's just baked. If you're having trouble with crumbling cupcakes, you can freeze these for 15 or 20 minutes before you cut these cores out, which will make them a little bit easy to work with. Trim off if you've got sort of a slightly brown bottom. You don't wanna see any other color other than your purple there, and then cut that core in half before using the smaller of your circle cutters to just take out another smaller center circle. Cut the other piece in half and you should have two whole little circles and two with little holes in the middle. Push the base of your push pop container all the way up to the top so it's right near the rim and then put in one of the full cores of your cake followed by both of the pieces with the holes in the middle and you can kind of draw the push pop back into the container as you're putting those in. Take your piping bag and squeeze some of that chocolate frosting into the center of those holes. So the reason we're doing this is so we don't end up with any dry cake. Push down your final piece of cake and give it a nice push so it's nice and firm before taking your frosting and you just wanna pipe like a little mound of frosting on top. You want that mound to be tall enough that it touches the top of the push pop lid when you put that lid on. It's gonna to help to keep all the cake compacted. Perfect, now to affix your templates, you just wanna take the top, which is kind of like a bit of a half circle and wrap it around. Once you've got it wrapped around nice and flush, take a bit of sticky tape and just tape the back of it. And then I used a bit of double-sided tape underneath the cone to affix it to the lid of that push pop container so it's not gonna move around. Wrap your purple crayon template around the outside of your purple crayon and affix it with a bit of sticky tape. It's as simple as that. Repeat that process with all of your other solid colors and that's all of your crayons done. Prepare your pink cupcake in much the same way, but you wanna cut this in half through the middle and then I'm just using the push pop it itself pushing down into the cupcake. This is because I want a really nice flush finish right up against the edges of the push pop container. Take your piping bag with that chocolate frosting and you wanna swirl this on. You want about a half a centimeter of that chocolate frosting because it kind of is supposed to be like the little piece of brown in between the eraser and the yellow of the pencil. Trimming the top and bottom of your yellow cupcake but leaving the rest of it whole, you're going to do the same technique for getting your yellow into your push pop container. Your pencil push pop container should be really nicely filled all the way out to the edges. Take your piping bag and put another generous little sort of a blob of that chocolate frosting on top and then apply your lid before taking your pencil template, which is just a top. It doesn't have a wrap around the sides. Wrap your template top around the top of your push pop. Use that double-sided tape just to affix it back on 
and your pencil push pop is complete. So there you've got your set of back to school themed push pops. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe to My Cupcake Addiction if you want to see more from me. And as always, thanks very much for watching. Thank you.